Why I Quit Acting to Become a Caregiver in London, Rita Dominic speaks. Rita Dominic, a Nigerian actress, has revealed why she took a break from performing to become a caregiver in London. She explained that she gave up prominence in 2001 and 2002 and moved to the United Kingdom to deal with personal concerns. She also states, she also mentioned that while in the UK, she started working as a carer for persons with special needs. Rita stated that during the recent Women of Valor International Women's Day event in Accra, Ghana, that while some may consider her profession as a carer to be a step down, she did not, she did not see it that way because caring for others gave her joy and meaning. She stated, many of you are unaware, but in 2001-2002, I quit acting and left the industry. I moved to London because, as I previously stated, I was going through a really dark phase in my life. I had those troubles. I had a falling out with some friends I considered family and had given up acting for a bit. I needed to go away. Simply escaped that place for a minute. And then I moved to London and then gave up stardom. And then you won't believe it. This is something I never told people before. But while in London, I was trying to make ends meet. So I started working in a care home as a caregiver for adults with special needs. While some might view it as a step down, I don't. Taking care of others brought me joy and purpose at the time. I needed it because I remember I took care of my mother and father when they were ill because they were alone with them. Okay, um, this particular um, video, Rita Dominic here. First of all, Rita Dominic is looking very smashing. She's looking very classy and flashing in this her dress. Okay, that's by the way. Then she is saying that she gave up acting. And that she relocated out of the country. And in order to fend for herself, you know, to take care of her bills and all, she had to work as a caregiver. And she quoted that she did not see it as a big deal. You know, some people now will hear, ah, ah, a celeb. You will abandon Nigeria. Go abroad. Go to care. Go to take care of good people. She's saying it is something she naturally did. And in that particular video clip, she said, she when she said taking care of her mom and dad, she did not mean taking care of the, you know, if you have had, if you have taken care of an old person before, it's not easy. I'm telling you, it is not easy. I don't know taking care of a baby and an old person. I think taking care of an old person is more difficult. Yes. An old person that, you know, as we grow older, we start behaving like babies again. Yeah. So it is more difficult. So she says she did not, her taking care is not that she really took care. As in, really took care. So what I can take from this particular article is that others were clamoring for it. Stardom, celeb life, always being in the, you know, chasing clout and all of that is what, um, should I say, people of this generation love to do. You understand? Not everyone, but a good number of people, a good number of us would want. In fact, uh -uh, the Sadami created her acting when she was at her peak. Do you understand? The same thing goes to Genevieve. She also created when people would see her at her peak, where she could, you know, she could snap her fingers and she would get bros, you know, she wants and all of that. You understand me? So the thing is, people were actually, people would actually, they are going to give everything they can to stand in her shoes, but they did not know what standing in her shoes entails. People would give anything to stand in her shoes as a den when she quitted acting, but she was willing to give up, or the, what the message was willing, give up everything, went to another place to find her peace. Now, the thing where you define, she they give you peace of mind. That job you're doing, that place you're looking for. To me, it goes a long way to see that sometimes when we pray and when we ask God for things, whether you're a Christian, you're Muslim, when you, whatever means of religion you practice, and when you ask God for things and he does not give you, sometimes it's actually, I'm not saying this is not, you know, I just, this is just, this is just placed in my mind. And I'm saying sometimes if God not give us what we want, God will protect us. 
because of the kind of people will say <laughs> you don't know what thing God will protect you from. You understand? And that is when that phases. Every disappointment is a blessing. Do you get? Uh -huh. So if God gives you or blesses you, that means he agrees with what you're asking him for. And if he doesn't, that means he protects you. But the thing is, we don't view it as that. So Richard Dominic here, to me, take home is, you know, anything we be saying with it, add to your peace of mind. Peace of mind is something very expensive. And it's also something that is very necessary. If you're an adult, if you are an adult, you will know that peace of mind is one of the things that you should not play with. Your peace of mind, your mental health, your sanity. You should not play with it because <laughs> you, I don't I don't think there's anything equal to it. Too. I don't think luxury, luxury life is equal to it. If you have luxury life, you do not have peace of mind. My dear, one day you will give up that luxury life so that you can have the peace of mind that you used to have. What 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 does it profit you that you are driving in a in a what's it called in an expensive car in an excessive you know a, a jeep uh, you live in a very big house you have properties here and there you are made but you don't have peace it's just like a woman uh, what's it called that doesn't have peace in a marriage that she's well well um she's somebody very you know. Is a public figure in the society, and then she goes back home any time where she drive, reach her gates, eh? everything that gives her joy disappears. You understand? She starts shaking to enter into her own house, or it's just like a man too, who he's supposed to. You are coming home. You are supposed to be. I ah, bring him to your wife. You want to go and see your wife and all of that. Meanwhile, nothing. The man is scared to death. He stays outside till 10 o'clock, till 11 o'clock. Why? Because he no one's you know, want problem. Nigeria is full of frustration. Even if you have money, if I had a chance, I would do the same. Talk. According to the revelation from Zoom Marcos, Nollywood is full of witchcraft. She did not say Nollywood is full of witchcraft. She said she was going through a phase. Huh? Are there not more people in the need of care in Nigeria if the move was made humanitarian as claimed? So wait, you are telling somebody who went abroad with her money, she did not come to knock on your door. You see, say, she said she was hurting. She said she was in a very dark place. And the rule of life says you cannot heal in an environment that hurt you. There is nothing you can do about it. You cannot heal in the same environment that hurt you, meaning she really had to move. I maybe mean, must talk to the to the uh, ask question like people will be say nanda no go school. You no can knock for door saying need money. You just come as I can share this and this is because she actually went to an event, you know, the the asked her some things and that is why she actually said what she said. Alright, so on this note you've come to the end of the news. So thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.